Hey everyone, this is Kerry from Fresh Store, and in this video, we're going to go through the new feature AI images that we've just added to Fresh Store. It's really cool. You're going to like it. I've been really enjoying playing around with it also. And yeah, so this is a instant store that I'm going to show you as a demo and show you how I would use this feature in a live store. Now, the images are super important in your store. It's great when they're unique and they give your story a unique look and they're interesting and the AI image generator can help us do that. So what we're going to do is replace this default image here, which is, yeah, it should be something more to do with pizza because this is a pizza niche store. You can see we're selling ovens, we're selling heels and various things in this one. So we're going to replace that. And we're also going to replace these default images for the articles. And that's going to make the articles look a lot more interesting and yeah, a lot more attractive. So we'll get cracking with that. But first I want to give you a bit of a hint on this feature, but also the other AI features inside your store admin area. You have your store settings and you have this little setting here, which is your store's niche. Now this is really important for the AI because we use this to give the AI context on the, your store and the content we're creating. So when we build our prompts and when we ask the AI for something, we include this niche inside. Now, the reason that's important is because the AI can be a little bit all over the place. We try to narrow it down to exactly what your products are, what your niche is. So make sure this is just simple and accurate. It could be coffee. It could be beer. It could be uh, drones. It could be robot vacuum cleaners or whatever it might be but just make sure it's accurate to your store's niche and it's not too uh, fuzzy, it's not too uh, ambiguous. Okay, so once that is set, we're gonna go back to the homepage. You're gonna just click here, edit. You can also go in through your admin area. And yeah, you're gonna notice if you're already a Fresh Store member and have been for a while, you're gonna notice these new buttons here. We actually have two ways of getting images quickly um, into your store. The second one, this one is a Pixabay integration. There is a separate video on this. I'm not going to go through that today. We're going to focus on this one, which is creating an image with AI. So you can just go ahead and click that and you're going to be given some options. So the first option, which image do you want to replace? I'm going to say the hero image, which is the one at the top and you have a style. So we're going to say vivid for this because yeah, I quite like how that comes out, but you can try and play around with these. You can also add some extra instructions in here. So I'm going to say, uh, maybe include a pizza oven because that's one of our, our main products that we're selling. Include a pizza oven. Just nice and simple. Other things you could put in here is maybe the style. You might want to say, make it um, hyper futuristic, or you might want to say, make it black and white. You might want to say, uh, make it grainy, make it like film footage or whatever you your heart desires in that sense. You can also say things like this, include something and yeah, or you could say exclude something if you're trying to get something specific. So you can be as creative with that as you want and the AI will go ahead and think up something fantastic based on what you put in. So it can be a little bit crazy, a little bit hit and miss, but you can always create this image again if you're not happy with it. You can create a new one. It's going to take about 15 seconds usually, maybe up to 30 seconds before the image creates. Once it does that, it's going to refresh and it's going to save that image automatically. So please keep in mind, if you had any images there already, they will be overwritten straight away. And okay, let's take a look. It's finished now. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. You can see it's got the main concepts of the pizza, the oven. Looks pretty cool. I like the style. So let's see how that looks on the store itself. Yeah, it looks good. It's looking good. It looks nice. I'm happy with that. So yeah, that works quite well because as I said at the beginning, my niche is is set properly here in store settings. And I gave it a bit of a prompt to say include a pizza oven. Not quite the type of pizza oven I was thinking because we have these types, but it still looks really good. Okay, we're going to take a look at articles and see how um, how we can improve our articles with this same feature again click on edit for the article the same as what we did with the page and we're going to have actually three image options on an article we have the social media image we have the listing image and we have also the hero image so yeah sorry it's running a bit slow but 
it gives me a chance to explain everything. So let's click create image. And from here, we're going to choose the hero image again. And I've opened up the article here so you can see what's going to go on. I'm going to say natural just to show you. I'm not going to put any prompts. I'm just going to let it go. So in this one, because it's an article, it's going to take the title of the article, which is the art of pairing pizza and wine. It's going to use that with the AI and the AI will take that and hopefully come up with something um, relevant and interesting. So yeah, obviously this is about putting pizza and wine together. Let's see if the AI can, can actually get that concept and make it work. Okay. So there we go. Wow. That's pretty good as well. Actually, apart from the wine is kind of missing the glass. This is what I mean about the AI images. They're not quite perfect, but it's actually really good. Um, this one, this has got the concept. It's just a little bit of, of this here, but as we say, a man on a galloping horse is not going to notice. So, um, yeah, really good. I like it. So that's the hero image for an article. That's where it goes. So you can see that when I click into all articles here, I'm just going to get this going. You can see these kind of listing images. They are separate. So I'm going to create a listing image and I'm going to go with, I'm going to stay with vivid on this again. I'm just going to leave the AI to dream up what it wants to dream up in this case. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. So that'll be the last image. I don't think I've got anything else to talk through this. Um, just look out for the create image button. You can do it on an article, you can do it on a page and you can do it on a article category and you can do it on a product category. So they're the four places at the moment where you can create images and okay. I'm always excited to see what the AI has created. Again, that's pretty good. I like that. You can see this one is more of a square kind of vertical image because it's got to go in this, in this position here. Um, yeah, there it is. It's going to load. So that's how it's going to look in your articles kind of directory here. And you can see, it's just what I was saying at the beginning of the video, having these images on your store, just make it look more interesting, more professional, more unique, just like it's, it's more yours as well. It's more finished. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the AI feature for creating images. I think that's all we've got to talk about with that. Like I say, have a play around. If you don't like the image, try again. Don't forget about the prompt. If it's not quite creating the image you want, add a little bit of info in there to tell it what you want and yeah, have fun. Enjoy. Okay. Take care. Bye.